Right, from the breast meat that we took from our whole chicken that we cooked, um, we made this, this beautiful enchiladas. So come with me and I'll show you how it's done. Right, that's our chicken. That's all the breast meat. Plus, of course, all that garlic that we put in there, the garlic and buttery part. Right, firstly in with our onions. So, I've done, I've got all the vegetables prepared. And by vegetables I mean onions, red capsicum and mushrooms. So, we'll just let them get going and then we'll put the mushrooms in, some seasoning and the chicken. That's nice and soft now, so let's get in with our mushrooms. And let's pop the chicken in there too. Oh, there's some garlic there. I'm not going to miss out on that. Then, we've got half of our taco spice. I'm putting the other into the salsa that I'm going to use. Um, but this will do for the inside of our enchilada and then I've got a different one for the outside. Right, this is looking like it's getting a bit dry. So what I'll do is switch a lot of water in and also add some tomato paste. And that should take care of that. Just get a taste of that. Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry I left you out. Right, we're now going to fill our enchiladas up and pour our sauce over the top and then top that with cheese. Right, yeah, so we're going to start filling these. Don't put too much in, otherwise they'll just become soggy messes. So, a little bit in there. Roll it up like that. And then into our tray. On with the next one. Just in case you didn't get <laughs> that first bit. A little bit there. That's probably a bit too much, never mind. And in there. What you should try and do is look for the thinnest part of the tortilla in terms of dimensions and pour it in there because if you're using a, a lasagna dish like I am here you won't be able to get everything in having said that I think that could do with more I'm aiming to get six out of this mixture Ooh, going to be delicious. Right, I'll do the other three, then we'll come back and do the sauce and the cheese. Right, here we have it. We've got our salsa sauce and I'm going to put in about half a packet of this because We've used it in the past and it's, it can be a little bit spicy but the flavour is um, fantastic. It's uh, Cully's is the brand made here in New Zealand. There we go, that's all combined into our salsa. And now we're going to pour it 
all over these delicious enchiladas. I probably should have thinned the sauce out a bit, but actually, no, <laughs> I was right not to because that thick sauce looks so yummy. There we have it. Right, let's get our cheese over there and get it into the oven because sooner it's in the oven sooner it's in our stomachs. Right, that's going in the oven now for around about 20 to 25 minutes at 180. I'm going to put it in the bottom of the oven for the first 10 minutes and then the last 15 minutes up higher in the oven. Okay. Right, and here it is, boys and girls. What you've been waiting for. The enchiladas coming out of the oven. And have a look at that. Right. I'm going to get a piece of that onto the plate and we'll try it together. Right, I've got my knife and fork at the ready. Let's have a little taste. Oh. Stringy cheese, yum. That is divine. That will do me nicely. Well, thank you so much for coming along and watching this. Um, we've got part three, which is what we're going to do with the leg and thigh from this whole chicken. So I hope this does give you some ideas about what you can do with a whole chicken. Okay, I will catch you on the next recipe.